Okay, we went over what came yesterday, so we want to show what came today. And we got this. This is one of the things. And I wanted to see if this was actually an S3B uh, Viking model in 172nd scale. But lo and behold, we open it up, and they have a thing right here filled this hole with glue. So we looked at the parts, and sure enough, it's an S3A, except that we're like right here with the SRS antennas on the wings that are supposed to help with locating the center buoys, they say, fill them up with glue. So this is not actually an S3B, it's just an S3A. So, but, uh, so what they've done is they've put certain things that are different on the decals, like the uh, chaff flare dispensers right there, although they're missing the third one that goes underneath the airplane and stuff. So, but there's certain things that are different with an S3B, such as the uh, ECM antennas on the pods. They're all black, where they used to be just black dots on the A. There's this vent for around the APU. And then there's the, uh, like we said, the chaff flare dispensers. And there's only eight son of buoy shoots underneath the plane. And then there's a lot less antennas and stuff. And this is actually an early S3B. But also wanted to show you this, since we were talking about DC-9s. Here's the first kit that I got on eBay. And this is a size comparison. In fact, let's pull the other one since it's side by side. Then you'll get to see. Yikes! See? <laughs> wow, quite a big model. And again, this is the uh, kind that you can get now, except that it's made in white. And uh, you put the uh, decals on for the windows and stuff. Because I got a second one. Here's the box art to that. Comes with TWA, where that was Hughes Air West. And uh, SAS decals. And here's the one coveted with the windows in it. So, but it gives you a size comparison, just how big this really is and stuff so yeah definitely an airliner but this is what i really wanted to show i got this because i actually thought that it was something that i could use in my space shuttle model because they showed a picture of it on an arm and it's like okay is that an arm for the international space station or what but the interesting thing i wanted to show and it really shows here in the model is the colors because that's something else I got today. Got this from Bare Metal Foil today. Because I was looking at it, uh, finally bought a scriber, a bona fide scriber. But this is what is so cool right here. Because part of this spacecraft, in fact, that's like a resupply tug that's launched, but part of it's copper. And this you can get from Bare Metal Foil Company. But uh, this is actually a film you apply, has a sticky backing, and you just stick it on. And so instead of goofing around, this we saw a great video on the internet where it was uh, you could actually do around the windows, like you can see right here, the chrome and stuff, and the chrome underneath, and this chrome. But uh, here we have uh, their improved chrome, matte aluminum, kind of like for the DC-9s, like we said. Gold, of course, because it's the best heat dissipator, although expensive. And then they have supposedly this ultra bright chrome. So we'll have to see how that works. But uh, yeah, the whole idea is to use this stuff on this. So we'll get a fairly good looking uh, model and stuff. So. But, uh, yeah, so we'll get something that looks very much... Let's just let this focus in. Come on, focus already, will you? Enough to go blind, huh? Anyway. Uh, yeah, so hopefully we'll get it to look pretty close to that. And stuff. And here's what this looks like inside the bag. We have our solar panels that are blue, but you got to paint gold around them or put that film on. Uh, here's some of the body. Actually, this is just a base, believe it or not. This is a base so that you can have it docked to, like, the International Space Station, have it just vertical. 
And then this is the thing itself. Look at the small size of those thrusters there. See the small size? The cones are actually the rockets, if you remember, like your Apollo service module behind the command module. But uh, yeah, you should see how that goes. And that should make that look pretty good. So, yeah, we got that. And we got this. And then we found out the truth about this. Although we do get a buddy store in some other updates. Too bad, VS-21, this was the uh, squadron that my uh, first mission commander crew, the senior guy in my crew, when I was first with my squadron, uh, he, uh, when he became the CO, had a COXO tour, he took over uh, on cruise, and about two weeks later he was killed flying with the rookie pilot in the squadron who just rafed it off the catapult. Some clown let some jerk through the training command, and, uh, left behind like an 8 or 12 year old daughter with the mom but yeah VS-21 but uh, it's not really a B it's just an A and they give you decals for that they give you nothing for that and uh, they have you fill in holes and stuff because see there's no antennas here there used to be two antennas up there there's only one and in fact with modern S3Bs they have a longer antenna there and a, TAC, or a GPS antenna up on top just like the A-10s so, but yeah, this is what we got today. We got this, and we got the foil. So, adios.